Hey everybody, this is not a spring check, and yes, okay, so I happen to have this. This is for the Northern Trust Open, which happens at Riviera Country Club. It's actually one of, the, actually, it's the most public, um... It is the most prestigious, public, prestigious and historic golf course in the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And this is their tournament every year, right? The big tournament. So anyway, oh, actually, I haven't even checked to see what the leaderboard is. Anyway, yeah. as you can see, um, we're a little bit involved with it. Yeah, family Not members. directly. Family members um, are working with the golf course. Which we forgot or, totally about me, it. country club. Yeah, but we forgot about it, and it, uh, it caused a whole shuffling of our entire schedule today. Mm -hmm. Which we should have actually known because it caused the same shuffling of schedule two well, days ago. we kind ago. of forget about it, you Because know? we're tunnel vision. Monty doesn't tell us right. those things. we got all this stuff to do. Okay, so anyway, um, so anyway, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And... It's all over for the Republicans. Well, I know because uh, they're on the run now after after um, uh, Ruby's Watergate, mm. which basically he's turning into the into a plus for him because they're showing they got can't they got things out now showing all the Democrats looking flustered. And here's the thing. Here's the deal for you folks out there. It's not done live. It was taped, and therefore the the thing is. Not if you. I heard one of the people that basically brought up. It's not that he did that. He was so flustered. Is it how many times did he do that in order to give himself that flustered look that he gave? That gave the Democrats something to be childish about. Instead of talking about substance, they were talking about it. Made him look like he was a a kindergarten kid and totally incompetent. It did this. It did that. Every Democrat pundit said nothing. They weren't talking about Obama. They weren't talking about the speech. They were just talking about how he looked like he was totally out of his league compared to the president. Uh huh. He wasn't using a teleprompter like the president was. Uh huh. Oh, imagine how all that happens. See what happens, and sometimes oh, can politicians act? Okay, they can rehearse over and over. Yeah. And Obama is to kill the penny because it has no value anymore. Yeah, well, that's what he said. He, all, he also got, he had to, he, he didn't respond to this thing. You mean, therefore, that since the dollar under you has no value because you're printing so many of them that the dollar is going to be removed from circulation also, which was followed by a tweet on the a tweet that said simply, well, that poor kid's going to Guantanamo. <laughs> Obama does not, when you, when Obama has to get off of the teleprompter, he gives you that stare. <laughs> that and when you stare. get that stare, if you're not an important person, you're going somewhere that you never want to go well, to. I <laughs> if you're in the Marines, it's called Yermo. If you're in the Army, it's called, you know, the Aleutian Islands. <laughs> so. Well, you know, here's part of it. Is that was a left, left-leaning group. But see, here's part of it is, they all know because, oh, wait a minute. When did, here today, he asked the question, Gone tomorrow to Guantanamo. Oh, the guy today, he's, he's touting ma manufacturing is back in a place that he has given a, a zillion dollars to a green company to hire 70 people. And, uh, and the product is being made for a Chinese company, so not for an American, which hired 70, no, he paid the company to hire 70 people at about 1 million bucks a person. Hey, you can hire me for a million dollars, President Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Go yeah. That. And Mexico arrests six suspects for rape of Spanish tourists. I know. Well, okay. Here's the problem is, is that what I know, I've been to Mexico. I actually own property in Acapulco at one time. You actually, you can't own property. It's like in Hawaii. You lease it for a zillion years, and then my business manager, who shall we call Mr. Green, I'm giving you that he's a foreign name. It's not actually green. It's G R E E N E. So, yeah. oh, did I spell his name? He, he he sort of took my money and didn't bother paying the taxes on the property in Acapulco. So I lost my property in Acapulco. Mm. So they they absolutely they will not. They do not want tourists bothered. They do not want film and TV people bothered. They do not want anybody that comes there on vacation bothered. And they got armies to stop that. And when it happens, they have no sense of humor with the people when they catch them. Mm-hmm. And Rubio cashes in on reach and sip moment. Oh God! I mean, that like I said, that's he's got he's got posters out now oh, does with he? him with him looking flustered aside. One famous Democrat after another. All, what does it say? All, oh no! It just it, it just calls it. It said uh, Rubio Gate. 
and it's got all of these people. They're going to start selling it. Well, they basically financing his run for the presidential campaign with everybody's going to buy a Rubio Gate thing. Most of the Republicans will buy it because they show all of these like Bill Clinton, you know, uh, Jimmy Carter, you know, uh, John, you know, Kennedy, all of them sitting there trying to figure out what the hell's the water. You know, and some, <laughs> oh, of them, some of them you can see the mouthing. You know, you can you can you know basically you see the you see the f words, the s words, all sorts of words being mouthed by them, hunting for their water. Because remember, you're supposed to have a staff that makes certain those things are right next to you. Mm -hmm. That's I heard a guy said last night. He said, I learned after years and years, I learn better, and I put a water bottle in my back pocket before I speak, so I only have to go to my back pocket. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Oh. I don't know that the comedians, oh, that's why your back looked like it's always wet, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> terrible, isn't it? <laughs> you know, comics will do that. <laughs> it's like oh, you had a, God. had a problem. Comic, it's like Marine Land Canada says their former employee tried to take Smooshy the walrus? Walrus is way a ton. They folks. try to take a walrus. You can't what are you going to do with a walrus? You can't hide a walrus. It's sort of hard. I have a tendency to believe that somebody may have been a little drunk. <laughs> They're taking a, 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 they can weigh two to three tons. So, and I think Smoochie probably is a two to three tonner. Smoochie. What do you do? You put it on a, you put it on a fifty foot flat bag. Put it. Use a, You bring. You really hard. You bring it in. A big crane in. You lift the, the, the water oh, up, God. put it on the flat bed, and drive it by the gates with no one noticing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like nobody's going to notice that. Actually, one. the what? same people that voted for Obama probably wouldn't have noticed it. And Bloomberg, we're not banning everything. Oh, they, yeah, they're trying to find out, asking this morning, what aren't you banning? Uh, said, don't you drink out of a plastic bottle? And not oh. Obama. Yeah. You don't you drink out of a plastic bottle, which you, oh, which, you, which you shouldn't be? Don't you drink? Don't you have food in these non-recyclable containers? Mm -hmm. And they said that uh, what he doesn't understand the reason the styrofoam was invented, and it is recyclable, folks. The only reason they don't recycle it is because the federal government creates health rules that say you can't recycle it. It can be used for fuel, folks. Mm -hmm. It is totally recyclable as an energy source. It's made out of oil. And Carnival offers more cash to passengers on oh, stricken They're being sued by the times. Oh, well, and they're getting, what, um, well, they've been doing all these videos of people. It's like, oh, we're just happy to get off the ship. Yeah, I know, because they're going to get... They're the, getting free vacation. They, they know, they, they delayed 12 trips because, here's, we're going to try something. I always fall back to my father when he was uh, adjutant to uh, Omar Bradley, and they were showing the uh, Abrams, and they asked my father to get into it because my father the a tank commander. My father said... What happens when the battery goes out? And the guy says, "Well, it doesn't happen." And, uh -huh. my, and then my father said, "And finally, after you know, Brigadier uh, Adley finally said, my adjutant wants to know what happens when the battery doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work. So you see it all the time. They're depending upon backup battery power that doesn't work. So they got four occup they got four toilets functioning on short a ship with like two thousand people on it. Oh my gosh, that must stink to okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really to high heaven. Well they yeah. were telling people they were oh. giving people bags to poop in and to Oh, poop. that might must have smelled like crust. <laughs> oh, it smelled really bad. It smelled I mean, I, actually you know what? It's like, what's the difference between stranded on a cruise ship and going to Crust Dog Show? Oh, I've got relatives that basically get that thing, and they said that you you can't come within a mile of that place because there's like a zillion dogs peeing and pooping all over the ground. There's this yellow fluid oh. everywhere. They're, they're they're not good kids, so. And landowner asked three point nine million dollars for part of wounded knee site. He's not going to get it because the federal government will seize it and not pay him anything. It's a it. it's a historical landmark. Yeah. Actually, here's a good one. My family was on both sides of Wounded Knee. Yeah. One of my one of my family members was a military uh, was a military officer that was there, and the other one was in a, was an Indian that got killed. So they said, you know, did you have anything to do with killing your cousin? And my great one said, probably. So I sure the hell hope so. So <laughs> that's what he said historically. I sure the hell hope so. They didn't like one another. And South Korea says new missile can hit North's leaders. Yeah, and you know, but that that here's the thing is, Obama is letting something happen that sh they they are totally forbidden. South Korea and Japan are forbidden to have offensive first strike capability 
He has now approved offensive first strike for two people that you couldn't trust if your life depended upon oh my it, folks. Gosh. And, um, yeah. It's like, oh no, we weren't testing. Yeah. Um, not much has changed in a Honduras prison where 362 died. Okay, it has to do with they don't care about human rights anywhere else but the United States. There was no such thing as human rights until Jimmy Carter was president. This is how they know that a thing written about the Alamo is a forgery because the man that wrote it was talking that the that uh, that uh, you know the generalissimo Santa Ana violated the human rights of these prisoners. There was no human rights until Carter. So, and I like this one. Oh, Montana TV station issues oh. bogus emergency <laughs> zombie alert. I, I know. You know. Yeah. That basically. They actually bought the fact that the, that zombies were attacking, but you have to understand it is well, a they, very, yeah. it's a very liberal left leaning TV station, and their news people are left leaning, and they remember Democrats believe every single thing they see in a, in, on television, they hear, or they read. Those are all believable to them. You know, the CDC did put something out about the zombie alert. What so. to do? They did put it out about how to handle <laughs> zombie attacks. But. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, and this has to do with computers, folks. Everybody hates little beggars. That uh, it, it basically, if a new operating system is currently available and you have an older operating system and your computer ceases to function, there might be a correlation between the new one coming out and the old one not working. Mm.